I YouTube so today I have decided to redo my case partially because for the transparent case a lot of imperfections can be seen from the outside an opaque case is kind of different because uh, it will be hard to drill the holes so I'll be sharing with you a template that I did so this is um, the inside and this is the outside so you just have to fold it and then you sort of place it up on top of your case and you try to align yep so when you finish aligning then you paste it firmly and on the other side you'll be able to drill in the holes the first few holes uh, I did a little cut right at the bottom right and the top left so just to make sure that actually these two uh, these two points are actually exactly um, aligned when I fold them so they look okay so um, I think it's kind of safe to drill from now so now we're gonna look at how we're gonna mod this case from the beginning so all these uh, poles have to be removed so that uh, you can mount the screen so let's do that now So you roughly know, you know, where, where this ends. Um, okay. So here goes. So it is always good to have a button at hand so we can test the side of it. Means that they're all too small. So you can see that uh, I've done like a line of perforation over here. Sometimes from the back it might look like it is uh, still a little bit far from the edge, but if you look at the same hole. It is already almost touching. So just take note, do not follow this line as your guide, do not follow. So um, later with my Dremel, I will be able to just go through all this and then I will be filing from the front. something new today so I just measured this section which I want to cut and on this new case you can actually use this vernier caliper to scrape a line of course you have to tighten this knot and as you can see the line is actually pretty good and I'm gonna do the same for the next measurement So now I have two lines. So here's the rough edges perforation that I've done. And I guess the next step would be just doing all the tremor work. Here. Okay, now for the side of the case. So I've uh, joined it up together first and let me focus this. Okay, so uh, just paste a row of masking tape and for the rightmost uh, extreme end. Okay, this is where your uh, Raspberry Pi will protrude out here. So the rightmost extreme end is uh, one notch 
uh, of this ribbed uh, plastic and I just paste this masking tape over it and then just because I'm gonna have to do it separately I just gonna have to cut it like this okay, so you realize uh, I'm measuring this from the there's a lip here right there's a lip here let's make a mark let's make sure that uh, you are measuring from the correct lip okay and press mm, you'll be a little Okay. For the top part is uh, about where the end of the contrast lip is. A few last things that has to go. Uh, this part is for the new power button. So this top lip has to go. And this side has to go all the way to the end. for the SD card slot. The SD card slot is slightly a um, few mm below this section. So it's about 3.4. Light scratch here, let's see. Yep, it's a light scratch on the top. And then the internals, the internal allowance I gave for this, 3.4. Six, so three point four plus three point six equals um, seven. So let's do this. So seven so is our bottom allowance. I think that's enough. That's probably enough allowance. So I'm gonna mark this up clearer with a black marker. This is the part that we're gonna remove. Okay, I think we are ready. So this is the end of this update. On my next video, I'll be sharing with you how to do the final assembly process. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment on the comment section below. See you on the next video. Bye.